It's good practice to keep all your HTML, JavaScript and CSS code in separate files. This just makes maintaining the code easier, especially as a project gets larger. So as you can see, I've got a HTML file, open, and inside the head, we're just going to put a script tag. And inside the script tag, we're going to write some JavaScript. And if we save that, and reload in the browser. In the browser, by the way, we just have this index.html file open. So now in the browser, we can see that the JavaScript is logging this to the console. So how would we do this same thing inside a file? So what we would need to do is again, open a script tag, and we're gonna give it a type text JavaScript, and we're also gonna give it a source. So we're gonna say source equals and then we're just going to give the name of our JavaScript file. By the way, because this file is inside the same directory, we don't need to give it a path. We don't need to move around like this looking for it. So that's really nice. And inside this JavaScript file now, we can say console.log. So it's a separate file. If we save that and reload the HTML again, we can see that we have inside the HTML file logging and then inside the separate file logging. Note the order of this. So these are carried out in order. So now we have this working. We can also look to see what happens whenever we move this around. So say if we want to access this DOM element with an ID of header. And inside this file, we say const header equals document dot get element by id and we select this element and then we say console dot log header so we're printing this to the console if we reload this file you can see it's not able to get it this is because our script tag is in the head and this is carried out before any of the dom is even loaded so that's why it's good practice to keep all of our scripts below after all the HTML is loaded. And this is good practice because it means that none of these resources are loaded until the HTML is already loaded. So if we save that now, because we've moved the script down to the bottom, all the HTML should be loaded and we should be able to get this header. So if I reload again, you can see, yeah, it was able to get this DOM element. So that's an important thing, just trying to keep your scripts down below here, unless you want them to be carried out before the HTML is loaded. It just makes for a better user experience. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, don't be afraid to ask in the comments.